Hello, I'm Daniel Rowe. I uh, lead the Nuxt team, and I'd like to talk about server components. Uh, server components are a topic dear to my heart. Uh, I like what they enable us to do in Nuxt, uh, and they're currently experimental. So if you want to enable server components in your app, you can uh, enable them with experimental component islands uh, in your Nuxt config. Uh, the experimental features we ship are a good way for us to try out different APIs. And mainly what it means by saying that it's experimental is that the API might change before we, we release it uh, in a, a minor release. Uh, so you can experiment with them now, and that's perfectly safe uh, to do. And once you've uh, created, um, once you've enabled server components, you can go ahead and create one. Uh, I'll start the dev server uh, and then go ahead and create a server component. Now they're just like normal components. Uh, they don't follow hugely different rules. You just have to add a dot server suffix and Nuxt will know that that's going to be a server component. Uh, so once you have a server component up and running, you can then go ahead and use that in your app, just like you would a normal component. Uh, we'll fire up a server, a website. Uh, and there we go. We, we've got our server component um, displaying. Um, one thing you might notice is that we actually have HMR for it. So when you're developing, um, you'll, you'll get the server component refresh whenever you make a change on the server. Uh, what is a server component? It's, it's really quite simple. It's a component that is only ever rendered on the server. And normally in a Nuxt app, you have a component. Every component can be rendered on the server and every component can also be rendered on the client. And so when you make a client side navigation, uh, that component will be rendered on the client. But a server component makes sure that even if you are viewing it on a client side navigation, that individual component will always only be rendered on the server. But um, hopefully you won't notice uh, a lot of features are just supported. So for example, you can define some props. Uh, we'll put a string in here uh, and we'll just inject that in our text and we will pass a prop um, to this uh, server component. Um, and that prop is going to then be used when it's rendering on the server. Uh, we can do other things too. We can support, for example, uh, slots. Um, right now, that's the best way if you want to add interactivity to your server components. Um, a new exciting PR is coming very soon that's going to enable deep interactivity of components. Uh, but for now, you can pass data in through slots. Server components are a great way of taking complex uh, or privileged operations out of your client side bundle and keeping them in the server. So if you have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, JavaScript that needs to run, but really all you care about is a simple HTML output, you should use a server component. It would be a great, great choice to make your app more performant. Um, there might be some other good use cases as well. I've written a blog, so feel free to uh, check it out. Um, and I hope you enjoy using server components. Let me know how it goes for you.